all right what is going on guys welcome and thank you for tuning into the channel today so on today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to install nintendo on your wii u so you can play your gamecube games now on the wii u side we cannot actually resort to popping in the gamecube disc and playing the games that way you're gonna have to use a hard drive with your images loaded on there in a specific structure in order for nintendo to actually see them which i will show you right here it's very simple um it's kind of tedious if you have a lot of games though we're going to go into the root of my hard drive right here. You're going to have to create a games folder. As you can see, I have my apps and then saves and my WBFS. This is all the games for the Wii itself. I'm running a USB loader on the Wii portion of everything. So getting back to the GameCube portion, we're going to have to create a games folder. Within that games folder, every game has to be in its own specific folder. Um, the specific name of each folder does not matter at all. Um, of course, I do have them named to the games. That way, I know organizational purposes. I know that this is Kirby's Air Ride. This is going to be Disney's Tarzan and stuff like that. Now, the image of the game itself has to be named game. It cannot be named anything else. Um, there's a specific format that you have to follow if it's a bigger file that you cut up into different discs and stuff like that, which I will link down in the description as well that you can go ahead and like take a brief overview of that. Bomberman, as you can see, called game. Legend of Zelda, called game. Mario Golf called game. Every single game has to be in this specific structure. Otherwise, Nintendo will not see it. And then, of course, you can see my apps folder. I have Nintendo. So now to actually show you how to get the files and get it properly installed. As you can see right there, I do have my apps for my homebrew channel on my hard drive. I'm not using an SD card or a separate SD card to have my apps separated from my games. It's all on my FAT32 partition, which makes it easier for me, makes it faster. It's less cumbersome let's put it that way you're going to require three files here loader.do meta.xml icon.png i also do want to mention you already got or have to have the homebrew channel installed on the virtual wii of your wii u if you don't have that already there's a link down in the description that you can follow along do not get it mixed up with any other guide to soft mod your wii make sure that that guide that you're following is for the virtual wii as i have provided for you down in the description now to get on with the downloads of the file just so want to left click on that one, download it to a specific location where you're going to be able to find it later. On these last two, you're going to want to do a right click, save link as, save right there. Same thing on the icon.png and save. If you do a normal left click, all it's going to do is going to take you to the actual code itself. Same thing on, on the icon.png. Okay, so now you got your files. We're going to go to the specific location where I have mine. I'm going to create a new folder. Call that new folder Nintendo. And then we're going to put our three files in there into that specific folder. You're going to go into the folder. You're going to want to rename your loader.do to boot.do, all lowercase. And then you're going to want to cut that and transfer that over to your either SD card or your USB hard drive, as I'm doing in my case. So for me, it would be my Wii. Go into the apps folder. And as you can see, I already have it there. So all I would do is click paste. And then I'm not going to overwrite it because I already have mine situated the way I want it. With that being said, I've already showed you the folder structure of the game, so we're going to hop over to the Wii, Wii I'm going to show you the Wii side, the Wii side, and we'll go from there. All right, so here we're booted up into the Wii menu or into the Wii U menu with our hard drive and SD card connected. Now you're going to be prompted or be greeted by this message right here that you have a USB storage device that is not currently supported by the Wii U. Do not format. You will lose all your games that you have previously stored on that hard drive, and you will have to restart all over. So just hit cancel. Go ahead and start the Wii menu. You can select from here TV only or TV and gamepad. I usually just select TV and gamepad just because I connect headphones to my gamepad. Okay, so we're gonna select A to continue. And we're gonna wanna go into the homebrew channel once the Wii menu loads up. I'm gonna click start. Once you have the homebrew channel loaded up, you're going to want to go through your list. If you have other apps here in the homebrew channel, you're going to just want to find Nintendo. Go ahead and click on it and load. Let it do its thing. It's going to scan through your storage devices. You're going to see if you have an SD card or a USB card plugged in. You just want to direct it to where you have your games installed. So for me, it's going to be on the USB drive. Okay, so right there, you're going to see that it has the list of all my games right here. This is what exactly I was talking about to have your names or your folder structure named a certain way. That way you could understand what game was what. And then the first thing that you want to do, since this, this is your first time booting into Nintendo, you're going to want to hit B. It's going to take you to the settings menu. 
and then you're going to want to hit one now from here you're going to want to download nintendo or click on the download nintendo option because it's going to see if there's a current update if you are not on the current or the latest build on the current build or the latest build i don't know what the hell i was trying to say right there guys but yes you want to click on that i've already done so so mine is just gonna verify that i am on the latest version you can initialize and you already have the latest version so i'm gonna hit no so that's gonna be b for me download canceled and then the next thing that you do want to download is the controllers.zip this is going to give you an access to a lot of config files that are pre-configured for like your playstation 3 dualshock your playstation 4 and any other game that is currently compatible or not not game any other controller that is currently compatible with nintendo is going to download a config file so it will make it more plug and play so as soon as you plug it in through a usb port it's going to access that specific file through the id of the controller and it's going to work with that config file you can of course configure this yourself that'll be another video or you can look it up on google try to figure that out for yourself once you have that downloaded it's going to download to the root of your sd card and pretty much you're good to go we're, right now we're going to hit home to go back you can mess around with some of these settings here of course most of these settings are not going to stick around every time you boot it so you're gonna have to go into the settings and like for me i want to force progressive on all my games so they're output it at 480p um, you can go through here, you know, what, uh, Wii U widescreen and all that stuff. But for the most part, they're not going to stick. You're going to have to redo this every single time from my understanding. From here, I can click home to go back. I want to go into my USB again and just click on whatever game you want to play. And you're good to go from there. Plug in your controller through a USB port. And you're pretty much set to go after this part. Um, as I mentioned before, just look up on how to create your own specific config file if you want to do that so you can remap the buttons however you want to but other than that guys that's exactly how you install nintendo it's super easy it's rather fast um forgive me if i took it a bit too slow or i kind of glossed over some of the things but ask me a question down in the comments below and i'll be happy to help you and as always i'll see you in the next tutorial guys